What is up, good people? Jungle Link here. Hope you're doing good. Most of you have already heard. The AMM feature on the XRP Ledger went live. People were using it. And then we ran into some problems. There's an actual bug. There was an abundance of problems with pools, with low liquidity. And in general, people just questioning the base architecture of this. How some of the functionality may not be as well thought out as we would have hoped. Now, they are suggesting no one else puts new liquidity onto AMMs currently as they try to work this issue out. Uh, Dark Horse did a fantastic video. Go over to Twitter and check it out. But he's reiterating... The reality of this situation, which reflects what the validators were telling us when this was up for vote and they were hesitant to put it through, what a lot of the developers were telling us, that this isn't like if you have some sort of system that's built with smart contracts and you can just turn it off. AMMs aren't an ancillary system stacked on top. This is actually baked into the XRP ledger, into its core functionality, and any problems are kind of a bear to deal with. You gotta make sure that if you do an update, you don't break everything else in the XRP ledger. If you want the specifics on these mechanics, go over to Dark Horse's Twitter, check out the video again. Really informative, fantastic breakdown of where we kind of stand here. This is what I would tell you. If every time there's something bad, someone's like, oh, it's not a big deal, it'll easily be dealt with, like everything is sunshine and rainbows, that's BS, that's nonsense. Life doesn't work like that. On the flip side of the coin, Building decentralized systems, blockchain, it's not easy. And so every time you run into issues, which are to be expected, if you have the other extreme where everyone's like, this is the end of the XRP ledger, it was a scam all along, like that's not really reflective of reality either. What we should learn from all of this, for the people that were really going after those validators saying, well, David says this is good, it must be great, just vote it through, it ain't that easy. And there's a reason why... We have voting and multiple minds looking at this stuff, people sounding the alarms. Maybe they know what they talk about. And open your mind to the fact that, yes, David Schwartz is a genius and Ripple is a monster in this industry, but that doesn't make them always correct. They don't always have the right answers. You can't just rubber stamp everything right through without thinking critically. Now, I was a little bit alarmed by the fact that I guess some people like toss big money into these pools day one. And I don't see the point. You know, some decentralized exchanges and AMMs, they incentivize you for that extra risk of using an early day system for taking on that risk. You get, you know, a bunch of AMM tokens or possibly we've seen airdrops at a later date for early adopters. Some of those airdrops on other decentralized exchanges have been upwards of $100,000 in crypto. I mean, there's been some massive rewards for early users of AMMs and DEXs, that type of situation, you know, makes some sense. So, you know what, let's jump in here and risk our money. But in this situation, like, let's just say you make 6%, 8%, whatever it is, like, that's not enough to risk taking a full wipeout loss. Like, sit back, let this thing develop and see where it goes. Don't just YOLO your money in there to try to earn some rewards back by putting up some liquidity. Other than if you want to play around with it, you want to help early on and you put a little money in there, like that's fine. But to put significant value into the sucker day one, to me, that is being a little bit reckless. And I should have covered that a little more. I just don't see the driver there to do that. And that brings up a second problem. Now, when we do go to reboot this thing, you know, are people going to be a little cautious and say, well, maybe I don't want to be the first of the gates because I'm not really making much for doing so. How do we get early users to be those guinea pigs? I'm not really sure, but I'm not going to be that guinea pig with my money other than, again, if I just want to play around with a little bit of money. And I suggest the same for you. Don't throw your money away. Sit back. Make sure this thing is fully flushed out and understand that can take some time. And even down the road, there will always be risks. They're always there. Understand that. Don't put everything you got into anything like this because software is imperfect. It's a continuous process. And there is no earning yield or making money for free. There is always a risk component. Always, always, always. This may take some time to get it right. Because again, it's baked into the XRP ledger. Harkening back to what the developers, the validators, and, and Dark Horse uh, told us here today. But I believe that they will. I believe they'll get this thing fixed. It may take some time. I think it's an important functionality to have on the XRP ledger. 
But I still say our main problem here is we still don't have a, you know, a significant stable coin. I think we need that. You need to have a circle, a tether, or something of substance. You have to have that gate hub IOUs aren't going to cut the mustard. I think that will hold back adoption of, of trading in a decentralized manner on the XRP ledger. I think you need that native stable coin. And further, hopefully this functionality will help projects be able to successfully get liquidity to their tokens. And we'll see, you know, current builders on the XRP ledger have more success. And that will also bring in new builders. I think that's what we need. We need interesting assets to trade, whether they're built natively on the XRP ledger or they're bridged over. I do not like like we see currently where there are some pretty cool assets to trade. But in reality, we have to trust that GitHub, Solo, or you know, some other entity is holding those assets in reserve. I don't think that's an optimal way to, to, uh, to operate. At least if you had a bridge, you could look and make sure those assets were locked up on chain on the other chain and they've been brought over in an efficient way. And again, there's a risk to that as well. You know, bridges get hacked all the time, but I think it's much better than just blindly trusting that, uh, you know, some centralized entity is, is holding those tokens. So I think that'll be a next level of building for the XRP ledger. The main takeaway here, this debacle with the AMMs, it's not nothing. It's not insignificant. It's pretty serious. But again, it's not the end of the world either. It doesn't prove that everything's a scam. This is part of the process. Uh, again, software and blockchain is difficult. And I think they'll get this thing fixed. And eventually, we'll get a fully functioning AMM uh, you know, system here that should help us build a lot more trading on chain using that DEX. And I'll bring up Dark Horse one more time. In the video he did, he talks about this. You know, Right now, as they're using ODL, they're having to compensate for all those fees. You got to pay for market makers to switch you between XRP, USD, and then sell out of XRP and to pay. So there's, there's a cost to those uh, currency transactions. And if they can move that on chain, you cut out a lot of those costs. There might be regulatory reasons, possibly. Ripple wants to do this as well. But, uh, you know, we saw with MoneyGram, it cost them millions of dollars a quarter. And using ODL because of this was probably more expensive than using traditional methods because you have all these currency you know transactions and there's a cost to every market maker to do that so they could take that on chain we get a much lower cost and i think it makes a lot of sense this is the way to go forward but it's not easy it's not quick and it's going to take some time that's the most important thing to remember let me know what you think down below as always please like please subscribe the revolution will be televised right here on jungle link